more reactions today. Yes, we are. This one comes from Kathy. Kathy, thank you again for your continued love and support. Um, she has given me all these auditions and stuff that come from like the, the, I guess it's like a reality TV show or classified that way, right? Um, this one's another America's Got Talent. The, this one is, says winner, the Maya's best performances. So this is a rather long video, but I guess they won whatever season this was. Um, super excited to see it. If there's any information I can link to show love and support to the artist on this, I will be glad to do it. Um, also for myself, because you know you want to do it. It'll be in the description box below for both. Um, but that being said, it is a long video, so let's go ahead and get started. Good evening. Who are Ooh. you? Rear de Mayas. And what does that mean? It's a word in Arabic that means the proud walk of a lioness. Oh, wow. From Lebanon. From Lebanon. Lebanon. Oh. Welcome. So, how is life for you guys in Lebanon right now? Lebanon is a very beautiful country. Yeah. But we live a daily struggle. Unfortunately, being a dancer as a female Arab uh, is not fully supported yet. Um, What is your dream? Us being here, standing on the biggest stage of the world, is our only chance to prove to the world what Arab women can do, the art we can create, the fights we fight. Do you know that if you win, you get one million dollars? Yes. So what are you going to do? I think I know, but... We're going to try to hypnotize you. Uh -huh. Ooh. Okay, okay. Okay, so it. we are ready to get hypnotized. Yes. So for that, I'm going to ask the judges to get a bit closer to each other to get the best experience. Come on over, Howie. All right. Snuggle up. She's doing a lot, but it's like having this whole psychedelic background behind you. And she is standing very still. All of her movement is like on her upper half of her body. That's pretty neat. I got to say, it is. And I like these feather things. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Are they eyes? Oh. They're doing 
noticed some pretty cool stuff there. Uh, there were eyes. Uh, that that's uh, I haven't seen that before. Yeah, they're eyes. They're eyes. Okay, so golden buzzard means you go straight to semifinals. I've seen that set a couple of times. So this is the second performance for them. Uh, see, here's my thing. Was it really good? Yeah, it was really good. And they won the season, right? Maybe it's just because it's not something I'm used to or I don't have any other reference points, right? Um, I love their story. I love their dancing. I don't know that if it was me judging that I would have given a golden buzzer. I really don't. It's just, I, I, I'm not used to seeing something like that, but I, I feel like we've seen some other performances that were like really awesome and that were definitely golden buzzard worthy. <laughs> um I it's good. Maybe their other performances are gonna be like, wow, you know. But I will say it was cool. It was very, very cool. Let's keep going.
Very neat. I like that. That, to me, would have gotten the gold buzzard. I like this performance better than the other one. And the other one was really good, but this one was, like, really cool. Like, they did, like, the whole snake thing, and, like, they, they had the movement with it, and the music, and the background, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's why I don't see it. Maybe because they were just on the normal stage. They weren't in, like, this type of a setting. This lends a whole lot to the interpretation, in my opinion. So... That was really good. I liked that. I liked it a lot, actually. This one is, I like this one better than the first one. Is she trying to get up on the, come on, Sophia. Very cool. I like that. I like this one too. Okay, I'm convinced that the setting of the first one is what kind of dulled it for me. Because this one was very cosmic. Very, very cosmic and beautiful and the lights and all the, the positions of everything and the way that they used the clothing and everything to do um, what, what would be the clothing, right? Because it looked like a dress in the beginning was really the fans um, to interpret what they were trying to give. Very, very cool. I liked that a lot. And like I said, I'm absolutely convinced that it's the setting that dulled it for me with the first one. Uh, because these two performances, totally love them. So yeah, I liked it a lot. I thought it was really great. Um, I'm absolutely convinced that the only reason why I wasn't feeling it on the first, which was the audition, is because it was a normal stage. It didn't have any of the other stuff that it was 
um, that you saw on the other two performances, on the other two performances, the musicality, all the props that they were using, um, the dance itself, every little piece lent to, to the other and it really like heightened the performance. And so um, I understand why they won. They are very, very creative. I just didn't see it on the first one. And again, I think it was just the staging, the staging of how it was. And that has to be hard, right? Because if you're trying to be a dancer, if you're trying to do something other than singing, um, it's kind of hard to produce that wow factor effect because it kind of gets dulled by the setting that you're in. So I liked it. Um, really great reaction. Uh, yeah, I, I have no other words. Okay, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys like the content as much as I did, then you already know what to do. And you know you want to do it. <laughs> um, until then, live your lives fabulously, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.